Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to see the numerical differentiation problem. Look at the first question. Find the first and second derivative of y equal to f of x at x is equal to 1.5 from the following data. The x data is given and y data is also given. So in this question we are supposed to find first and second derivative of y. That means dy by dx and d square y by dx square for the given data and also it is given that find at the point x is equal to 1.5 that means this x value x is equal to 1.5 is the beginning value of the x data that means we, uh, we have to use the forward difference formula ok so for finding dy by dx and d square y by dx square we have two kind of formula one is uh, forward and another one is backward difference so in this question the value is at x is equal to 1.5 this 1.5 is the beginning value of the data that is the reason why we are going to use forward difference formula if suppose the value that is x value is 3.5 or 4 in that case we have to use backward difference according to the question we are we are going to use the formula ok so in this problem we are going to use Newton's forward difference formula so first we will write from the given data our x0 value h and p so first value of x is our x0 so in the solution x0 is given given x0 equal to x0 is the beginning value of x so 1.5 ok and h is nothing but difference between the x data 2 minus 1.5 0 0.5 2.5 minus 2 0 0.5 3 minus so h is 0 0.5 ok so from the given data h is equal to 0 0.5 and here x0 is 1.5 we have a value that is p p is nothing but x minus x0 by h ok so here x is the given point what is the given point given point is 1.5 and x0 is 1.5 our h value is 0.5 so obviously our p value is 0 so p equal to 0 if p equal to 0 newton's forward difference forward difference formula ok dy by dx equal to look at this dy by dx equal to 1 by h del y0 minus 1 by 2 del square y0 plus 1 by 3 del cube y0 minus 1 by 4 del power 4 y0 etc. So first we have to form the difference table how to write the difference table already we have discussed in the unit 2 ok x data we have taken and y value or data uh, y data values are taken and here del y is nothing but difference between the second and the first one so 7 minus 3.375 ok 13.625 minus 7 likewise we have to find out our first difference that is our del y same manner 6.625 minus 3.625 uh, that is our del square y del cube y and del power 4 there is no need of uh, del power 5 and all so here we can stop up to del power 4 y ok so in this formula we have del y naught del square y naught del cube y naught del power 4 so these values are nothing but the beginning value of the difference table that is this is our del y naught and this is del square y naught and this one is del cube y naught and this is our del power 4 y naught because we are using the forward difference formula if suppose you are using the backward difference means we have to use these values that is the end values of the difference table here we are applying the forward result that is the reason why we are taking all the beginning value of the difference table so we are going to apply the first values of the difference table so dy by dx equal to 1 by h h is 0.5 h is 0.5 del y naught that is 3.625 del square y naught 1 by 2 del square y naught is 3 and del cube y naught is 0.75 del power 4 is 0 so applying all the values in the formula we can get our dy by dx answer so therefore we can get the dy by dx as dy by dx at x is equal to 1.5 after simplifying all these values we can get dy by dx answer is 4.75 so dy by dx at x is equal to 1.5 
the answer is 4.75 likewise we are going to find d square y by dx square the formula is 1 by h square del square y naught minus del cube y naught plus 11 by 12 del power 4 y naught h value is 0.5 and del square y naught is 3 del cube y naught is 0.75 plus 11 by 12 into del power 4 y naught is 0 therefore we can get our d square y by dx square d square y by dx square at the point x is equal to 1.5 the answer is 9 so in this problem we are getting the p answer is 0 that is the reason why okay p answer is 0 that is the reason why we are using this formula if suppose we are getting p answer is 1 2 something some values are there we have to use the another result in the introduction lecture video we have discussed okay look at the next question the table given below reveals the velocity v of a body during the time t specified find its acceleration at time t equal to 1.1 okay x data and y data is given so the table given below reveals the velocity v of your body during the time t so here it's given x data and y data so in this one the value of t <coughs> at the point t at a time t equal to 1.1 we have to find the acceleration okay that means in the given data x data and y data we have to take this x value as our time and y value as our velocity when you are differentiating the velocity we can get the acceleration isn't it uh, differentiation of the velocity is acceleration so in this question we can take the x data as our time t and y data as our velocity so first we will form the difference table so we are, you can take the t value that is the x value as like this and y value as v that is our velocity so we can take in like this and we have to form the difference table <coughs> so here del power 4 answer we are getting 0.1 so we can stop the difference table up to del power 4 and moreover in the given data x naught value is 1.0 h is nothing but difference between the x data so h is equal to 0.1 we have to find the acceleration at the time t equal to 1.1 that means our x value is 1.1 so we have to find the value of p according to the p value only we can select our formula so p equal to x minus x naught by h so x value is 1.1 minus x naught is 1.0 by h value is 0.1 so we can get our p answer is 1 ok so the p answer is 1 means we have to use the first uh, result of the uh, dy by dx see we have to find the acceleration when time t equal to 1.1 that means what dv by dt when you are differentiating the velocity we can get the acceleration so here according to our <coughs> formula instead of writing like this we can write this also dy by dt that means our y dash at the point 1.1 so finding dy by dt at the 1.1 to understand our uh, formula only we are writing like this ok so after this we have to write the formula dy by dx formula at the point p equal to 1 so we have to use the first formula ok so dy by dx the formula is 1 by h del y naught plus 2 p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught plus 3 p square minus 6 p plus 2 by 3 factorial del cube y naught plus 4 p cube minus 18 p square plus 22 p minus 6 by 4 factorial del power 4 y naught so this is the formula when p not equal to 0 so instead of writing dy by dx here i have written dv by dt because we are finding the acceleration according to this question so substituting the values h is 0.1 del y naught from the difference table here we are using first values of the difference table because the question is find the acceleration t at 1.1 that is the beginning value of the table ok that is the reason why we are using the forward result so here also we can use all the beginning value from the difference table ok so here substituting all the values we can get our acceleration dv by dt equal to 44.917 therefore the acceleration when t equal to 1.1 is 
44.917 so this kind of questions also can be asked so according to the question we have to use the result okay so this is the problems based on numerical differentiation so first problem today we have discussed when p value is 0 we have used one formula that is the forward difference in this question we have applied the forward difference if suppose the question comes the end, end of the table value we have to go for the backward difference likewise for the second question in this question the velocity and time duration is given so according to the question we have to find it here acceleration that is the reason why we have written the formula as dv by dt okay so these are the two important problems under this if you want more problems you can comment me okay thank you for watching